Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Today I'm going to show you how to install Chrome on your Mac. And I'm not talking about the shiny exterior of your MacBook Pro. I'm talking about a new browser called Google Chrome. Okay, so downloading and installing Chrome couldn't be easier. Just do a Google search for the word Chrome. You'll see it's the first option, obviously, because it's Google Chrome. So just click on that page. On the Google Chrome page, you'll see a big blue button that says Download Google Chrome. So just click on that. You'll, of course, get really long terms of service, which you'll read every word of, like that. And then click on Agree and Download. Depending on your connection, this will take a couple minutes or so. You see it downloading here. So you might be asking, what's the big deal with Google Chrome? Well, it is just another browser like Safari or Firefox or Opera. Uh, some people say it runs faster, especially on Google pages, not surprisingly, like Gmail or Google Calendar, things like that. One thing for sure, though, is when Google adds new features to Gmail or any of the other, their other products, you can bet that they're going to make sure it you know, they work really well on Google Chrome. Okay, so a few seconds left. Once it's downloaded, it'll verify the download and then mount it. When it's mounted, you'll see this Google Chrome window show up. And it might be a little obscure here, but basically what they're telling you with this arrow is just click on Google Chrome and drag it here and what you're doing is you're copying it into your application folder you can see right up here it'll say copying Google Chrome to applications that's almost done that's all there is to it you can uh, close this actually you should probably eject it it's almost like a, a disk so control click on that icon and then click eject. So now to run it, you'll just go to your applications folder. There's Google Chrome. It has this slash through it because you just downloaded it. So when you click on that, it'll say, hey, you, you sure you want to open this? Well, yeah, we just downloaded it. We're, we're fine. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Play around with it, see if you like Gmail running in it better than Safari or Firefox, and uh, hopefully that's helpful. Talk to you later, Mom. Bye.